Today we're going to explore the girdles of the body. We have two girdles of the body. The shoulder girdle, which is around the shoulder blade area, also referred to as the mid-back, helps to create stability for any movement through the upper body. So whether we're pushing with the arms or pulling with the arms, the movement is coming from your back and the shoulder girdle, you've heard maybe of rotator cuff muscles, which are important for shoulder health, help to make sure that the arms and the shoulders are supported in your movement. The second girdle is your pelvic girdle, and the pelvic girdle helps to support and stabilize for protection of your pelvis and your spine. When we have stability in our pelvic girdle or our core, as people say, we have more ease of movement that happens through our hips, knees, and ankle. So we're gonna explore some movements for that. So we're gonna begin just lying down on your back, your knees are bent and your heels are close to your seat so you can feel your full footprint. Arms are long by your side and I'd like you to just lengthen your elbows and gently press into your palms. Just do a little chin nod forward and then tip up, it's an un unnod as your, toe, your nose and your mouth come up to the ceiling. And again, just inhale, lengthen through the back of your neck. And then exhale, return to ceiling. One more time. Inhale, chin nod forward. And exhale, bring your chin back up. So we want to keep open through your throat where your nose and your mouth are pointed up towards the ceiling. Now, same thing with your pelvis. You can actually, for now, just place your fingertips on your pubic bone and the heel of your palm on your pelvis. And you're just going to tuck. Now, hold your tuck for a moment. And I'd like you to keep check that your glutes are relaxed and that you're light on your feet. And instead, you're using that engagement of your abdominals to create this movement of your pubic bone drawing towards your belly button. And then you simply untuck where you allow the weight of your body to land in the middle of your pelvis. Take a breath in and exhale, tuck where you're using your abdominals, light feet, relaxed glutes. And then you untuck, or what we call a tilt, and what we want to focus on here is you're staying relaxed in your rib cage. So again, inhale, exhale, tuck, inhale, and exhale, tilt. Now the focus is on just moving your pelvis independently of your thighs or your ribs. So the movement will be quite discreet. And all there is to notice, is there an ease of movement in your pelvis as you tuck and then you untuck. So we'll do that one more time. And this time we want to land in what's called neutral. It's a little bit before the tilt, but where you feel comfortable. So the weight of your body's on your sacrum, your ribs are soft, and we have that little mouse house, I call it, so that your ribs are on the mat, but you've had that little gap in your low back. Now, taking your hands to your rib cage, we're going to take a slightly longer than normal inhale. And as you do that, I want you to think of your rib cage moving depth and width. So let's go this together. Inhale and exhale. Again, as you inhale, focus on the breath coming right down into your rib cage and allowing that rib cage movement such that it means your diaphragm, your upper core muscle has contracted down and your lungs are now filling with the air. Again, inhale, feel the movement of your rib cage and exhale. Now place your hands on your pelvis, on your lower abdomen, and again, we're still in neutral. We're not tucking or untucking. We're just staying in this neutral spine position. And now we're going to exhale, and I want you to make a sound, like a shh. And as you do that, allow your hands just to follow the natural movement of your abdomen. It'll feel like your abdominals are drawing in and up. So let's do this together. Inhale. And exhale. And do that again on your own. Inhale. And as you exhale and make that vibration sound, what's happening with the vibration is it's helping to stimulate what we call your deep rooted core mechanism. 
And that helps to create that hugging or that drawing in effect of the core, but nothing changes in your spine. So we're keeping that mouse tight. So what we're creating now is what we call pelvic stability. So I'll do this one more with you. Inhale. And exhale. Good. So next, place your hands on your ribs and bring your arms up towards the ceiling. And now we want to create awareness around our shoulder girdle. So you'll inhale, reach your fingertips towards the ceiling. Notice my arms are angled a little bit towards my thighs. And then as you exhale, lightly touch your shoulder blades down. Inhale, shoulder blades reach up. And exhale, shoulder blades touch down. So as you move with your breath, notice when the shoulder blades reach up, the, the shoulder blades widen away from your spine. And then when your shoulder blade touches down, you want to stop just when they touch down. Don't try and press them down where you start to lift your chest. Inhale, shoulder blades lift. And exhale, shoulder blades touch down. One more time. Inhale, shoulder blades lift. And exhale, shoulder blades down. Now we'll keep the shoulder blades touch down. Pelvis is still untucked or neutral. And this time you inhale, take your arms overhead and just hold them there for a moment. And as you hold them and breathe, what we're looking for is that the ribs stay down, that when your arms go overhead, you don't have this big arch in the back. So if you're unable to keep the ribs down, then you want to find that position where your arms can reach overhead, but that you can still maintain this neutral position. So if you need to modify that you stop before your ribs lift and you don't touch the mat, that's okay. And then bring your arms back up. Inhale, arms go overhead. Visualize your ribs be nice and heavy down your body. And then bring your arms back up. And one more time as you inhale and exhale. Good. Okay, so roll onto your side, and then we'll come on to all fours. So what we're still exploring here is what is stability in the shoulder girdle and what is stability in your pelvis. So when we come into a quadruped position, essentially what we're doing is taking that position you had of your spine lying down on the mat and finding that same position in quadruped. So now we have to go more with how does it Feel. So we're going to go out of neutral in both directions to help us find neutral. So first of all, with the shoulder girdle, you're going to let your sternum relax down towards the mat. And this is where you'll feel the shoulder blades collapse together. Now take a breath in. As you exhale, push your hands into the mat and you'll get this sense of lengthening and strengthening through your body. And the more you do this, the more you'll be aware of your actual shoulder blades. If you haven't thought much about your shoulder blades, then this might take a little bit of time and that's okay. So your shoulder blades draw towards each other. And then as you push your hands down into the mat, it creates your body to go up because the floor won't, won't go anywhere. And you'll feel that width of your shoulder blades widening. Let's do that one more time and then push up. I'd also like to find your head position. So you're just gonna nod your head forward so your chin goes to your chest. And then you're gonna slowly pass by where center is, where your head is lined up with your spine. And then just tip your chin forward. Just feel a range that is okay on your neck. If something bothers you, don't go that far. And then same thing, where is your spine, head lengthened with, in line with your spine? And then just let your chin come down. And then coming back to center where your head is part of your spine position. And then chin up. Good. And then come back to where that is. So I like to gaze just at the top of my mat. And now we're pushing into the arms. So now we have head alignment and shoulder stability. So now we want to find pelvis position. So Knees can be under the center of your hips, so take a breath in. And as you exhale, just like we did on, the back, on our backs, you're going to tuck your pelvis. 
So all I'm thinking about is using my abdominals to bring my pubic bone towards my belly button. And then we want to untuck. And then you're going to tilt where you reach your tailbone towards the ceiling. And then as you slowly move towards your tuck, can you feel where neutral is, where there's that sense of a straight line from your tail to your head? And then you use your abdominals to tuck. As you come back through center, can you feel that sense of where your pelvis and shoulder blades and head are all in this strong position? It will feel strong and stable, like if someone were to drop a sack of potatoes on your back, you can actually resist against it. And then you're going to tilt, pubic bone to ceiling, and then you come back to center, and let's see if we can find that. I know that can be challenging on the wrist, so let's just sit your hips back onto your heels, and just give a little stretch and let your wrist take a break. Good. And as you breathe there, this is another opportunity to find that ribcage breath that we started with. So with your abdominals resting on your thighs, you're going to breathe in. And what you focus on here is your front ribcage expanding onto or towards your thighs. So rather than your shoulders rising as you breathe in, your front ribcage expands. And you'll also notice the lateral ribs expand. And inhale, and exhale, feel that hugging effect, that drawing in of your belly button moving away from your thighs, inhale, and exhale, rib cage draws in, belly button pulls in, good. So let's come on to your hands and knees one more time. If this bothers your wrist, you can get an elevated surface as well. Uh, maybe a, a, an ottoman will do. Uh, I'm going to grab this here just to show you, is that you can also be here. So now you see I'm still, my elbows are still in line with my shoulders, but I'm off my wrist. So make sure you're comfortable. So if you've got a yoga block or something firm, you can use that would be helpful. And then we'll just do the gap um, sternum drop and press away. And we can just do your tuck and your tilt to find neutral. All right, so you're pushing into your arms. You're gonna take a breath in. Let your belly expand as you inhale. And as you exhale, draw your belly to your spine, but don't let anything move between your tailbone and the crown of your head. Inhale, let your belly relax. And exhale, push through your forearms or your hands, and then draw your belly to spine. So what I'd like you to notice is that when I'm pulling my tummy in, my back is now being stabilized. So rather than moving my spine, I'm actually stabilizing by drawing my abdominals in to support my neutral spine from the front of my body. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, let your belly expand. And exhale, draw your belly button to your spine. Good. All right. So we're going to come off of our hands just because I know that can be challenging. And I want to find that same thing on your side. So here we are lying on your side. And what we want to get here is our neutral position. So we're going to let everything sag. So you're going to let your waist drop down, your pelvis um, contract to your ribs, and I'm shortened on this side. And I'm going to take a breath in, and as you exhale, I'd like you to stack your pelvis. So we're going to lengthen here by taking your top side of your pelvis and stacking it over top the bottom side of your pelvis. What we'll notice, we'll feel our ribs are down, but the waist is lifted, and your hips are stacked, and you might notice automatically your tummy, pull, pull, uh, your tummy pulls in. So again, we're gonna collapse, let your pelvis sink up to your ribs, take a breath in. As you exhale, reach your pelvis away, feel the space come into your waist and your lower abdomen draw in. One more time, pelvis up, exhale, stack, and draw in through your tummy. Good. So let's do the other side right away just so you can feel both sides. 
So understanding this will be really valuable when we do our workout videos, because then when I talk about being in neutral or stabilizing in your pelvis, you'll have a better understanding of how that feels and what I mean. So let's let the hips sag, pelvis draws up towards your rib cage, take a breath. And as you exhale, you're stacking, you're reaching your pelvis away from your ribs. So you're stacking this hip over the bottom hip. You'll feel that little space in the waist, but your ribs are down. Inhale, collapse. And exhale, reach your pelvis away. Good. One more time. Inhale, collapse. And exhale, reach your pelvis away, drawing your belly towards your spine. Well done. Okay, so let's get onto your back. And same thing, we want to be in neutral, so we feel that space in the low back. You can do a little tuck and a tilt just to feel that. And you're going to bring your heels in close to your seat so you can feel your feet planted. Your arms will come long by your side. Now, all we're going to do is a hover. Notice when I hover, I'm not tucking under. What I want to do is stay neutral between my ribs and pelvis. I'll take my arms up so you can see, and I'm just hovering. So you can see I have the crease in the front of my hip. Arms up is great. You can do this as well. It's less stable. Palms down is more stable. You have more base of support. Palms up is less stable. So as you breathe, Think about that as you draw nice, flat, and wide across your pelvis. Now we can test your stability by exhaling, feeling that tightening through the tummy, but push down into your right foot and lift your left foot just to hover off the mat. Place your foot down, take a breath in. As you exhale, feel that activation first. We call it stabilize before you mobilize. And as you alternate slowly with your breath, what you're focusing on is keeping your pelvis and ribs still. So when you take that foot and lightly lift it off the floor, just a little hair off the floor, does your pelvis stay still? Now you're welcome to put your hands on your pelvis and feel that breath in, Exhale, wait for the activation, wait for the response of your core before you lift the foot. Remember the job of the girdle is to hold things together, hold things in space. So we want to practice the stability and the movement is challenging you to be still. So focus on what you want to stay still, exhale, and place your foot down, and place your pelvis all the way to the ground. So again, we were in neutral, so you've got that little mouse house here. Your hands can be on your pelvis. Take a breath in. As you exhale, you want to feel that shh drawing in through your tummy, and then bring one leg up. Tap the toe down. It's like you're reaching from the hip. The position of your knee stays the same float the leg back up. So if you were to picture a marble sitting in the middle of your pelvis, you want the marble to stay still. If you're not stabilizing by using your breath and pulling your tummy in, you'll feel your pelvis tip to one side. Place that foot down, take a breath in, and as you exhale, find your stability and lift your other leg up. Inhale. Think of your thigh reaching over an arc barrel that's behind the back of your leg. So you're moving from your hip. Inhale. As you exhale. It's as if that connection of your abdominals pulling in helps to float your leg off the floor. So my leg feels weightless because of that core activation. Now, you can do that again, but a little more challenge is to do what we call leg changes. So we want to set you up so you stabilize before you mobilize. So we'll take another breath in. And as you exhale, feel that shh. And you tap. And you exhale. Shh. 
We inhale through your nose, exhale on the top. And what we want to check as you exhale is that you're staying relaxed through the neck and shoulders. Your abdominals are drawing in, not pushing out. That's a different set of muscles. We want to focus on stability and back support so you exhale, pull your belly button to your spine. So the effort is in your pelvic girdle. You're relaxed through the neck and shoulders. If you feel your shoulders and neck tightening up, come down, reset up, take a breath. Exhale, draw your abdominals in, bring one leg up. Ribs are soft, throat is open. And as you exhale, feel it. And then restart. If your tummy keeps pushing out, you want to stay with single legs until you build the strength and the stamina to support one leg. Roll over onto your side and you can sit up. So that I hope you found helpful to understand what is shoulder stability and what is pelvic stability, just the very basics. If I know that you can stabilize, I know that I can give you an exercise and you'll be safe. So remember, stabilize before you mobilize. Focus on what you want to stay still. If you have any questions, you can send me a note. I'd love to hear from you and help you out. Thanks for watching.